I actually believe, this is me talking, that uh, the Harris campaign would do a Fox debate. Uh, it's the, the former president has come to the conclusion that there really shouldn't be another debate. Now, his reasoning, don't know. Uh, I always thought that it would be like a, a bug zapper in the backyard for the former president and that he couldn't get away from the light of 70 million viewers and that he would have to eventually, just knowing him, uh, you know, do it if it was on Fox and something he could agree to. I, I'm getting the sense from him and the campaign that um, that they are moving past it. And they really, the, the holdup is not the Harris campaign and Fox. It is, um, it is the former president. You just heard Brett Baer of Fox News say that Trump, not Harris, is the reason why a Fox News debate isn't happening, which is pretty funny because back on August 19th, Trump implied that Kamala Harris was the one that was too afraid to debate him on his own turf. Writing on Truth Social, Comrade Kamala Harris has just informed us that she will not do the Fox News debate on September 4th. I am not surprised by this development because I feel that she knows it is very difficult at best for her to defend her record-setting flip-flopping. I kind of feel like my Trump impression gets worse with time, but you get the point. Now, to refresh your memory, the reason why Harris rejected that debate was because Trump wanted to do a Fox News debate in lieu of the September 10th ABC News debate that they had already agreed to. So why would she cancel that one to agree to some other debate when it was already planned out? right? But since he got cold feet, he was trying to make it seem like she was the one that was running scared because she wouldn't agree to the Fox News debate that he randomly floated. But now she's willing to debate him where he said he wanted to debate. But according to Fox News's Brett Baer, he's now the one who won't commit. Now, we all know that it's because he's afraid to debate Kamala Harris anywhere because he got humiliated by her the first time, but he's not going to say that. So instead, he's moving the goalpost here. And I say this because the the day after the first debate between him and Harris, he actually called into Fox and Friends and they let him know that they did extend an invitation to him and Harris's campaign for a second debate. But all of a sudden, Trump wasn't so eager to debate Kamala Harris on Fox News after all. Mr. President, uh, I know uh, when we started the interview, you said that uh, you felt that you won the debate last night, uh, your best ever. Um, I think before the debate happened last night, the Kamala Harris people said that they would actually like to do another debate in October. And I know that uh, last night Fox News uh, offered, sent letters to your campaign and her campaign offering three dates of uh, debates moderated by Martha and Brett. Uh, one is October 9th in Arizona. Well, I wouldn't want one to have Martha and Brett. I'd, I'd love to have somebody else other than Martha and Brett. I'd love to have... Uh, frankly, Sean or Jesse or Laura, uh, you know, somebody else. Let's give let's give other people a shot. But I didn't think Martha and Brett were uh, well, good last night. Well, I thought here... Jesse was Jesse was fantastic last night. What he said, Jesse really got it. Jesse said that Trump won that debate. That was we won that debate by a lot. No, I wouldn't want Martha involved. Okay, I would, M Mr. President, but I would take some others. So yeah. Well, hold on now. I know I said that I wanted to debate Kamala Harris on Fox News, but of course it has to be hosted by one of my sycophants. Otherwise, it'll be biased against me. The only way to make it fair is to have the moderator be completely explicitly and vocally in the tank for me. <laughs> Makes sense. Now, if he's as confident as he says he is about winning the first debate, which we all know he's bullshitting, uh, why wouldn't he agree to another debate? Because, you know, if you, if you did that well, you just do well again, right? Well, as he tweeted on September 12th, when a prize fighter loses a fight, the first words out of his mouth are, I want a rematch. Polls clearly show that I won the debate against comrade Kamala Harris, the Democrats' radical left candidate, on Tuesday night, and she immediately called for a second debate. He later says she was a no-show at the Fox debate and refused to do NBC and CBS. Kamala should focus on what she should have done during the last almost four-year period. There will be no third debate. In other words, I'm not scared. She's scared because she wouldn't agree to the debates at Fox, NBC, and CBS when I was trying to get out of the ABC News debate. 
sure Trump. Now, the good news for him is that Kamala Harris came up with a really fair compromise. On September 21st, she tweeted that she agreed to a second debate hosted by CNN on October 23rd and invited Trump to join her. Now, in my opinion, CNN shouldn't be hosting any debates going forward because they have thoroughly discredited themselves in this election cycle. In that first debate, they did zero fact-checking of Donald Trump, just let him spew whatever bullshit he wanted and gave no pushback whatsoever. On top of that, their pundits are slandering members of the Democratic Party like Rashida Tlaib. But having said that, though, this is a compromise because Trump, he did come out on top at that CNN debate with Biden. Now, I don't necessarily think that he did good in that debate. In fact, I think he did pretty bad, but he won by default because Biden shit the bed. In fact, Trump even praised CNN's moderators, saying that he believed they treated him very fairly. So if the conditions are to his exact liking, why not agree to a second debate on CNN? There's really no excuse, right? Well, actually, there is an excuse. As Fortune explains, Trump claimed during a campaign rally in the battleground state of North Carolina that he would like to debate, calling it good entertainment value. But the start of early voting in some states had taken the air out of the idea. Quote, it's just too late. Voting has already started. He's so full of shit. Uh, he added to a large and enthusiastic crowd of supporters that while CNN had been very fair when he debated President Joe Biden in June, quote, they won't be fair again. <laughs> Of course he thinks this. The only way that the debate would be fair is if the moderator is a two-time Trump voter who wears a MAGA hat to the debate and calls Kamala a communist. Then he would think that it was fair only if he won the debate. I mean, this is so embarrassing and pathetic, but yet he's huffing and puffing about how amazing his first debate performance was. If you believe that, you would do it again. It's not like a boxing match. This is a presidential debate where if you win a debate, you win the election potentially, depending on how well you do. And if you did that well, then of course you'd want to debate again. But, you know, he's full of shit. Now, to be fair, I don't blame him for not wanting to debate Kamala Harris again because he got his cheeks clapped by her in that last debate. So it makes sense that he wouldn't want to subject himself to the same humiliation again. But I don't think anyone is going to buy his bullshit. He can't even believe that people are buying his excuses. He lost the debate. He knows it. His campaign knows it. Republicans know it. You know it watching this. I know it. And that is why he doesn't want to debate her again. And it's why he didn't want to debate her the first time. But if he thinks we're going to buy his dumbass excuses, he's delusional, but he can't be that delusional. I'm going to come. Do not come. 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 Welcome to the Come Zone. Uh, uh, uh.